Hey guys, RevitMEP guy here, and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to set up your routing preferences in two clicks. We're going to set up routing preferences for copper piping and also PVC piping. This involves copying the pipe types from one project to another. So the first thing we're going to do is open up a new project. We'll use this none, that way no families are added. Select Imperial, we'll go to Systems, we'll select Pipe, we'll draw our pipe at 6 feet, start drawing our pipe. And as you can see, there's this can't symbol, meaning we can't really draw any fittings or any angles for this pipe. That's because Revit didn't load any pipe fittings in this project. Pipe fittings aren't even on this list. Let's select the pipe and verify this. Select Edit Type. Select Edit on Routing Preferences. And as you can see, there are no pipe fittings loaded into this project. So the easiest way to get pipe fittings into a project is to open up a new plumbing default template. Under new project, let's hit browse this time. If you browse to this location right here, you can find the plumbing default template. Hit open, hit OK. Now if we go to systems, pipe, you can see there are two pipe types loaded into this project, standard pipe and PVC. Let's start drawing some standard pipe. Let's hit escape, let's select this pipe, and we'll check its routing preferences. Hit edit. As you can see, this pipe is made of copper K, and it also has all of these fittings that are standard fittings associated with the pipe. Let's hit OK. Now what we want to do is we want to load this type of pipe, or routing preferences, into our other project. All we need to do is copy and paste it. So we go to copy to clipboard, go to our other project. Now let's paste it into this project. Go to Modify, Paste from Clipboard, hit OK, and just click a point above this one. Revit displays a warning that the pipe is not visible. That's because we drew it at 9 feet. If we click on our view, floor plan, and go to the view range, hit Edit, and let's make sure our top is set to 10 feet. Now I'm going to modify this pipe a little bit. If I want to create more pipe, I just select Draw Pipe, and I can draw piping anywhere I need to now. I'm going to drop this pipe down to 6 feet, or let's do 7 feet. Click a point here, and as you can see, Revit is now drawing all the fittings that were associated with this pipe type. Let's check those routing preferences one more time. Let's click our pipe. Over here, you can see it's pipe type standard, which was from our other project. If we click Edit Type and click Edit under Routing Preferences, we can view that now the copper pipe plus all the fittings associated with it are now in our project and these are our routing preferences. Let's click OK. Now we want to add some sanitary piping into this project as well. Let's go to our plumbing default template. Let's change this pipe type from standard type. Let's change it to this PVC. Let's use the same technique we used before by going to copy the clipboard. Going into our other project and again let's paste this from the clipboard. Hit OK and we'll click a point right here. Hit finish. And now this sanitary piping has been loaded into our project. Now I want these pipes to look correct, so let me change some object settings real quick in the background. I'm just going to open up object styles and set the pipe line thicknesses to 5. Now you can see my pipes look thicker because I've changed the object style display for pipes and fittings. The next display property I want to set up correctly is my system display. So since we're on a PVC type pipe, I'm going to make sure the system is sanitary piping. Now I'm going to go to my piping systems. I'm going to click on edit type and we're going to edit these graphic overrides for our sanitary piping to show up as a brown line. Hit OK. And now you can see my sanitary pipe is displaying in a brown color. Let's do the same thing for our copper piping. Select the pipe, make sure it's on standard, make sure you select the cold water system, go to piping systems, under the system properties click edit type, go to graphic overrides, click edit. Now let's change the color to blue, click OK, click OK. And as you can see, the cold water system is now displaying the pipe in a blue color. Now we still have this leftover default type of pipe and we want to remove that from our project. So let's go down here to pipes, pipe types, and let's remove this default pipe type. Right click, go up to delete, hit OK, and now that default pipe type has been deleted from our project so nobody's going to use it. Now let's continue drawing pipe. I'm going to select this pipe, move it this way, 
right click to draw more pipe. Let's draw some right here. Let's drop it down seven feet. Go through here. And let's see what this looks like in a 3D view. Go up to view, hit 3D view. Now you can zoom in on this 3D view. Let's set the detail level to fine. And let's use the thin lines command. Select this pipe, hold shift and rotate this view or orbit the view around. And if we want to continue drawing in this 3D view, we could right click on this draw pipe. And this time let's drop our pipe down in a 3D view to six feet. We'll hold the shift key and we'll draw that pipe right under that one. As you can see, it's very easy to also draw a pipe in a 3D view inside Revit. So, in summary, if you want to set up routing preferences for copper pipe or PVC pipe, open up a new default plumbing project, draw a piece of standard or PVC piping or both, copy them to the clipboard, then go to the project you're working in, go to modify, and paste from your clipboard. Thanks for watching and be sure to check out my free courses at RevitMEPGuide.com. Also check out my other videos on my channel.